into the launch of 50 people next week on okay. the H360. So not as big as Yatla. Um, and we'll have Ike as well. Um, but, and, and maybe Kate at one point. I mean, if you are free during the week at some point, we could have M in the gym and Yatla and then you come out. Um, but we're, we're definitely going to be looking at doing a smooth rollout just like we had with Yatla. Yep. And Ike uh, is someone who really wants to take his personal training and PH360 to the next level, whereas Yvonne really wants to focus on the coaching PH360 side of things awesome. uh, to let, let you know where the two of them are at. So Ike is going to be most likely going into the gym. Yep. And uh, fortunately for us, Yvonne's kind of like a uh, multifaceted, can All do over. everything. Yeah. Um, so she does <laughs> PT as well. So she'll be a fantastic, like we'll need a couple backups for Ike yeah. um, on the site out there. Yeah. And so she was just interested in our take and AKA your wisdom <sighs> when it comes to breaking down PH 360 at a very easy level that when our clients after that first session with us that and as we described to you Yvonne these clients had no intention of coming into a health and wellness program they've been sent up to the office to see us some of them against their will and some of them don't want to look at their health because they know it's a detriment to their life and they are they're triggered by it so having Denial. things on a simplified level has been definitely uh, one of the main components and reasons why Yatla has gone so well with Sharna's coaching on site there. So I was just thinking any questions and things around how to coach in that initial coaching session, we could go over today so that um, Yvonne, you feel very comfortable and Saran, who's about to jump on in a moment, feels a bit more comfortable with the language. Uh, mm -hmm. around PH 360 and then later on for those coaches that have no idea about PH 360 at all Sharn we can go into how are we going to coach those coaches like we discussed initially like how are we coaching people that we know are amazing in their field but don't know PH 360 and is that something we can do in-house etc so we'll discuss that later we but I think that we still need to send them through because I, I think and Yvonne would agree you've got to do the weekend course and you've got to do the six weeks afterwards there's no way you yeah. can comprehensively do justice to what we actually are providing for these humans if you don't go through and have the complete full qualification and the process in which you get to because even it takes about two years for a PH360 coach to actually fully start to encompass and understand the the full complexity of what we're offering here no i totally agree yeah, definitely, yeah. Mm. um i mean i think initially what we were discussing is how can we give them a baseline mm. if they don't have ph 360 mm, mm. well they'd only be assisting they would they would be the only assisting yes absolutely mm. i mean it, it, the good news is is it's not a two-year course so we can definitely get people trained up in the baseline of ph but even after that like Yvonne's been trained up and she's still in like that section of limbo a little bit where yeah. having somebody with your expertise in pH would be tenfold beneficial to her in her own business as well as what we're doing mm -hmm. um, at East Tamaki mm -hmm. so I, I mean even after six weeks as you just said it takes like two years to really oh, easy. Mm -hmm. and Cam and Kyle do an amazing job of support but uh, you know, it's, they can't, no one's paying them to continue to up-level the coaches. Oh, mm -hmm. No one pays them, no, but they do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they, they, should offer, they definitely <laughs> offer free guidance, but what I mean is, is that those coaches aren't getting paid to listen to them. So unless mm -hmm. there's that value of like, okay, oh, there she is. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> No, um, that's girl power here. <laughs> yes, I did say that, say that to Ike that our team is like Wonder Woman team. <laughs> All right, so Saran, this is Yvonne. I don't think you guys have met before. Hi. No, we haven't. No, not that I'm aware of. We meet a lot of people, but sometimes we don't remember all of them. <laughs> I just spoke so highly of Saran all morning that Yvonne's probably like, oh yeah, hi. <laughs> You'd be on this call. And you obviously know Sharn, so that's perfect. Glad how synergies work, small world. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Amazing. So Saran, I'm just going to give you a quick background. As you know, Sharna is going to go over what we initially do with regards to pH 360. And we were just discussing how getting you into pH on a deeper level will be extremely important moving forward, but at least we can give you an over, a brief overview today of what we do in that initial coaching session. So I wanted you in on this call. And Yvonne is going to be uh, helping me get 50 steelworkers on board next week in New Zealand. So she's pumped. She's, uh, pumped, she's ready baby. to rock. I'm yes. ready to rock. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, and Saran's background, she's a nutritionist. She's a PT. Um, she also deals with... Not a qualified uh, nutritionist. I'm just a nutrition coach nutrition coach uh tantra or would you say like sexual yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah, gonna be getting into that sexuality work um and then we also discussed meditation and a few other mental health components that we will get into awesome cool. so sharn i will let you take it away i think that's awesome thank you very much thank you thank you <laughs> hey ladies, lovely to see you face to face. Um, so today there's going to be a fair bit we're going to go through. There is a procedure that has been written or will be finalised after I'm finished going through this with you all. There is, when we get into this, there will be um, a bit here, there and everywhere and basically you will always want to make sure you come to every session, every onboarding process with computers, laptops um, ready and charged, charges with you um, and you will have about five tabs open on your, on your computer and you will need to have Wi-Fi as a must, um, whether it's provided by the venue or provided by Megan will be or your mobile phone. Um, now, uh, it's a bit choppy but you will understand, you'll see the big picture as we start to bring all the tabs together as to where and why the flow is the way that it is. Um, so, that being said, let me know if the background noise is a bit much though. Um, and I'll shift. No, you're right, babe. Um, That's good. Good, awesome. Okay, so when you're in, let me share a screen. And then once we're finished with this, um, if there's any questions or any clarification along the way, pop them in or just put your hand up and go for it. I'm pretty flexible and manoeuvrable. So as you'll see along the top, this is my mind, which is all my tabs. But anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you will all get access to Megan's um, uh, Google Drive and you will always want to be logged into your Google Drive, into Megan's Google Drive, sorry, and into the Vulcan Facebook page. It's a, an absolute must all of the time, um, which Megan will have the process of you having access to those. In here you will see the Vulcan Wellness Program. If you're not across um, Google Drive, we can go further into that at a later time, but this is Megan's Drive. Down here, the last one is Vulcan Wellness. Double click that one. Coming into here, you will wanna go into the Master Coaches and ensure that you have the Vulcan Client Coaching Panel open, which is this one here. As we bring on each company, we will create new, I'm assuming new tabs, Megan, for the same setup. Along the bottom, you'll find the tab for which country or which location or which project you're working on. Um, and in this coaching panel, as you'll see, we've got one already auto-populated for um, Yatla. Mm -hmm. And in here we have uh, the site location, the token number for the client, the health type, which will come later. Don't stress, that will come after the math, um, their first and last name, email, phone number, postcode, weight, height, BP, and heart rate, which most of the sites we will have a heart rate monitor. Um, if we don't, don't stress. It's just something that we're using, especially, especially for those pre-diabetics. We did have a few at Yatla that we had to send immediately off to the doctors to go get a checkup. Yeah. Um, because we're, we're, in a, we're in a very unconscious industry and a lot of them are just doing the do and ignoring their body and happy in ignorance. So we're kind of providing this starting point of like, no, this is serious and your, your heart rate has come to a point where we actually are going to send you away. Um, we want their face. So don't, don't feel scared to send yeah. people to their doctor if they have like high blood yeah, pressure. Yeah, that's no problem. That's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Facebook name. So we do have the Facebook community started up. So you immediately, your questions, this is what we're filling out in the initial session. So they've sat down with you. And what I would generally do just to self help yourself would be you would go and do their height and their weight immediately um, and write those down on a pad and paper when you go collect them. Walk over to the destination that you're doing most of the session with them and have those written down. Um, you're then going to throw the cuff on them. 
um, and while they're doing the waiver, because we'll have another iPad there with the waiver. So while you're doing the waiver, they are filling that out. You're taking their BP and asking them a few questions. You're also going to then want to um, find out whether or not they're on Facebook, whether or not they are willing to be a part of the community. And you, you, you will have to talk this aspect up with all of them. You will have to sit mm -hmm. there and be like, guys, this is where you're going to get all the information, the deals, the notifications, um, recipes. Like there's a, there's a massive amount of contrib uh, tribe work and um, value, information adds. and value. Um, it's where the main facilitation of what we're doing here will be as well as being on face to face with one of our coaches. Mm -hmm. So you want to get their Facebook name and I generally get them right then and there to go into mm -hmm. Facebook and either search out Vulcan or you go across here to the Facebook and you request them yourself from the Vulcan Facebook page itself, not mm -hmm. from the community page. You need to add them into the Vulcan page first to then be able to bring them across into the Facebook group. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Page first, group last. Um, whilst you're then in this program, you're then finding out their postcode. Um, and this is just chit chat while they're doing the waiver. You wanna get as much of this information sorted before you start doing your measurements and whatnot. At this time, you're also going to have your Facebook registration. So it's PH360Me slash registration normally. And we'll have this in the, I believe you guys have got that set up. We'll, we'll give you the links. Yeah. In here, you will have, oh, what am I doing? So in here, you will have, the starting point. So you'll auto populate. Has everyone gone through and started everyone up on a PH360 account? Yes. So many times, yeah. Nope. Okay. So all it would be is just follow the prompts. You're popping in their first name, last name. Yes, you are duplicating. You will have all of the information here in the spreadsheet, which is why you want it here first, so that you can then just grab, copy, and paste it into the PH 361. You're going to go through their zip code or postcode, their country, blah, blah, blah. The next one will ask male or female. Make sure you get that correct. <laughs> if you're unsure. Yes, ask we've me. had trouble with that actually because it changes you get on the auto entire outcome. Yeah, and you can get on an autopilot. You'll be like, click, 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 click when you're doing a lot of people per day. Um, mm. You're then going to be asked their birth, date of birth, um, and a couple other details plus the token. So in the resource center, you'll see, sorry, in the client, Center, you'll see here we have a token column. This entire column here will be allocated to each person. So you utilize that token number goes into the next page of this. And if I just go blah, 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 at Hotmail. Oh, you have to do that. Numbers, the country, the postcode, and away we go. There we go. Okay. Um, so there you go. You're going to create a password. Now, what we have been doing is the username is generally their first and last name with capitals starting each of them. Mm -hmm. And then um, what I've then done is utilize the site. So for us, it was Vulcan 19. So maybe you guys would write Vulcan 20 mm -hmm. for everyone that comes through and just keep it standardized. At this point, and sorry, can I just add, it's really important that we know what we've set that as because the guys will not remember and then they won't be able to log in. It causes all this trouble. So please do take note of what you're saving everything as in, that, in those initial steps because yeah. we've had the problem of going back. That's why we did it generic in Yatla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Thanks, on the day, um, you will have these things already printed and you guys will have a folder in the middle of the desk where these things will be. So as soon as they come in, you're going to give them one of these. Here you will write down, I normally just jot it down in written format on the top corner, their password stuff. No way it's there. They've got one copy. Um, you will see in here, the initial measuring session, we just put in the day that they're coming to see you for their initial. The next box is actually when can we get them back in? Now, you guys are going to want to make sure that you have your calendar set up um, and your allocated time slots for the next four or five months um, so that effective immediately you will be in Calendly and immediately booking them in for their follow up. But one thing I think you guys should all know to stipulate is the first session is about an hour and a half with you. Then the second session is about 20 to 40 minutes. So just say to them, the mandatory follow-up 
and it's only going to be brief or as intricate as you want. So a lot of the guys, they're going to be like, eh, do I have to? But the women will have a million questions and, you know, you're going to be like, you know, you'll get to a point where this might seem too much or you'll get to a point where you fall off the bandwagon. You're all human. We're all fine. This is just giving us an accountability point in which we are definitely touching base again and you must show up to this. This is where you have to be quite rigid with them about this one because I've been chasing guys at Yatla for far too long to get them to come in for their follow-up. And it's just, it's human nature. They're still workers. Mm. Okay. <sighs> so that's your first one here and then you jot down that time with them and they get this cool little one to take home with them as their first point of call. I'm going to do us a favour here, Megan. You'll see. No, it's not going to work. Um, and we're only going to have um, appointment one now. We're not going to do two appointments. We just found that was way too much. So we're just going to concentrate on getting that one appointment scheduled in. No wishes, yeah. Mike and um, Okay, so that's the first document. Now you're going to then go through and briefly, and what I was doing with them is going, see this next tab, tab column here that says an initial coaching session? What I did, which was really kind of cool, was going, so you're here, you understand this is a health and wellness platform, a health mm -hmm. and wellness program. What are some things in your current knowledge, your current state, your current lifestyle that you already can see would be something that may need to be worked on? Get them to give you some goals initially because once we go through this process, you can check back in with them and go, that goal you've got, this will do that. That thing you had, this will amplify that. The results you're going to get from this are going to marry up with that 100%. And you're getting it before they've emotionally invested or become drained in the session or whatever it is. It's really, really good to get this part started mm -hmm. before you get it, into it. It's like that trigger that you're going to be able to keep going back to that it will motivate and drive them to actually come back to you. Yeah. Yes, so I generally just make sure I come across this spreadsheet as much as I can before I take them in and get them registered. Okay. Cool. So your next box is, do they go to a studio or a gym already? Yes or no. Where are they going? Um, here we did have a tab that is their login and their details and whatnot. Um, so you can just remind yourself to just put in their, their current login and their password, um, which is kind of in a stupid spot. Let me just, while we're here, let me just grab this Awesome. One. And I'll just go over um, the importance of knowing if somebody goes to the gym or not right now. So uh, Yvonne, I, I know that I just went through this with you this morning, but um, Saran, the, the real big goal of this is to get that 20 to 30% of the steel workers that are not going to the gym and haven't gone to the gym and don't know their health is an issue, but we can still get them into the gym. So we've, we've narrowed it down that on, on, on all the sites, we've got gym goers, which Vulcan Steel is very happy that we, they have gym goers, but they don't want to just pay for those gym goers to continue to use a gym for free because they're already training. They want to get those people that are in the realm that they haven't been able to help that are letting their health really go downhill. So for one of our main KPIs of WellCorp, we need to look at were they training beforehand? If not, and we got them into the gym, that's a huge box that we're ticking. So that's why that, that one component right there, are they going to the gym and which one is extremely important to get, get as much info as you can. Even if you say, great, well, when was the last time that you went to the gym and jot that down in there? Cause sure. And that's one question we've had to go back to people a lot on. Mm. If you, then also if they're not going to the gym, why they've not chosen to go to the gym. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you just want to get that sort of stuff that helps with that foundation. Um, mm -hmm. And if they say, because it's been too scary, or I've not known what to do, then you, if depending on time, and remember, you don't want to take up too much time because even though they've been told they're doing this session, out of grace to the company, you still want to be speedy. You still want to be fast. You don't want to waffle on. You've got to get through this and get into the next person. Um, so... Um, and sorry, and with that said, Saran, if you're getting special cases that are on are coming from the mental health line or something like that, then we do want to take more time with people over Zoom and things like that if it's on their own time. But when we're in these sessions that are we're onboarding everyone that Yvonne will be in, we need to make them quick and snappy. But if it's someone suffering from mental health, uh, then we give them more time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, okay, so preferred training time. Yes, um, we want to find out initially if they're training and when they'd prefer to train because it gets to create a greater conversation is as to bring them in alignment with PS360. So, oh, you've always trained at this time. Well, you know, you're kind of, you're training 80%, getting 20% results, right? So, you know, you're probably not happy with the results you've been getting. What you might love is that through this profile, we're actually going to understand when is the optimum time for you to be training and getting 80% results from 20% effort. 80-20 rule. Just small little tidbits that you can have a conversation to warm them and get them a little bit more curious and involved in, in actually doing this process. Mm -hmm. um, we then want to know their position on site. This will help when we're doing accountability buddies and also quite a few other parts of their profiling and programming. Um, if they have an accountability partner they would like to work in with, we've got a special spot there for that. Um, and the rest of it's to be filled out at a later date. So that's all for that one. Now coming across, so you've done all of that. Now you're going to come across to PH360 registration, fill all of this in, making sure you're using the access token um, and then going through that process. Once you've gone from here, you will then jump into PH360 and you will, I haven't got anyone to onboard at the moment of my own, so I can't even do a, a jimmy up, but um, we would then go into the measurements and I actually do have a document. Not in your drive, Megan. I'm going to my drive. And Yvonne, I'll be on site with you, so that won't be a problem. And then Saran will get you trained up on uh, on this because that's that's you know part and parcel of doing the PH360 course, which they're held all the time. Um, one's in Brisbane this month, actually, so I'll send you the dates on that. Um, but I'll uh, assist you on the basics of that. Here we go. Okay. So once you're into the app, it's going to ask you basically to start doing the measurements. So this is just a, a shortcut version um, of where you're going to do it. So you're getting their height. I love their weight. this. Is that part of the resource center? Uh, probably. Or did you it's make that? that no, it's something I've found along the years. <laughs> Are you able to, can we add that into our Google Drive or can you send us a copy of that? Because that's awesome. No, it's the guys. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. I'm just awesome. thinking we send this to the guys when they do, do their measure ups. Look how yeah. this is great. Yeah. So it's really about making sure they understand a big one, the jaw and everyone like I walk up to, I'm like, okay, so now we're going to do 15 measurements and these are going to give us about 10,000 data entry points. And then as I'm doing that, I'm talking about, you know, and we're, we're measuring not just your body, not just the mass, we're measuring the bones, the skeleton, we're understanding, um, you know, what happened from when you were a fetus to the human that you are now. This is now measurable. So these points mm. are specific to help us get the biggest map of who you are and, and why you are the way you are. Um, and so then we go through and I, I immediately go, okay, we're going to measure how big your brain is. I mean, how big your head is and make a joke, make it fun. Yes. Uh, perfect. And I always say like, I know you've had your skull measured a lot, so I'm just going to measure your skull again, you know, just a normal measurement for you here. And they're like, no, I've never had my brain measured. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> This is next level. Get ready for it. Yeah. So um, going through those ones, then coming into the door, I really get them to go, ah, and then they're like, mm. ah, you're trying to break the barrier of these men being very closed off to you. So you're trying to find any way to make it soft and fun and, and not your norm. You still need to be professional, but you need yep. it to be breaking down those communication barriers, building the relationship. So, ah, okay, ah, and we're trying to find the top of their jaw and, and make sure you can find, like, oh, here, I can, I can dig my nail into the top of your, your jaw bone and making sure they measure it down to the front. So, with that measurement. Oh, shit. All right. Yvonne, have you got one of these? I've got the, uh, not the uh, metallic one, I've got just the normal ones. Okay. These are really, really great. A good one for you to get. Oh, it's a she's got that, That's great. Yeah, she's got the one that you, I was about to say. I think it is your mom because we were talking tape measures this morning. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sure. Some of the sewing shops, the sewing yeah. shops do this ones, but the metally ones, yeah, I think in New Zealand you get them online. Yeah, I've got mine online. So mm -hmm. from here, it is making sure you get in the top of the jaw there. You're taking it to the corner of the, the jaw and bringing it around to the front and making sure you're measuring from the, the, the middle of the lip there straight down and getting that halfway measurement. So many people have measured themselves and gone the whole way around. <laughs> it tells and I'm like, me. Nah. 
Luckily, you still stay the same health type, but yes. Okay, so then that one, we're going around the circumference of the neck, <laughs> making sure that, well, you know, you can joke about, you know, don't go too tight around the neck. Many of you are going to get freaked out about this going around your neck, and most of them do. Um, and then, so you're just being playful, light-hearted, go through the body, making sure that through the chest measurement, um, making sure you're fully, and Yvonne, I'm sure you're across this, but um, I'll give I'm this for everyone bit. else. Okay. Okay. We go on to this weighty bit. Yes, the sweaty bits and making sure that it goes across their shoulder blades. So um, for those playing along at home, making sure that it is up high. You've got it here. It's not down where we used to do it, the boob line. We're actually wanting it right up high on the shoulder blades in the sweatness of the armpits and to the front and then make them breathe in and out halfway and stop um, and take that measurement. Um, it's no big deal if, like, they say to be 100% specific, but these measurements here, you're breathing, you're moving, it's just the best you can get in the middle of, of the breathing movement. Um, the other thing to really pay attention here is if you know they're an endomorph and you're watching them breathing, mm. you're wanting, you, we're trying to find ways of making them want to come back for more of you. So if you notice them do a shallow breath and they just lift their shoulders, you go, yeah, let's, I'm just going to take a note that we're going to really note down that you need to maybe look at the conscious um, understanding of, of deep breath work, mm. right? Come into that. Oh, you're doing really shallow breathing. And then someone will do a big breath and you're like, look at you. And they'll do this one really shallow. And then you go to do this one and they're like, and you're like, you're already nailing it. It's just that relationship bonding, right? Mm. Um, with the women, as soon as we come into the bust area, they are in work uniform. So I always get them, I go, okay, I need to lift your bra up at the back right out of the way. Then I need you to come and lift the front of your, your bosom up. And what I want to do is I want to get the tape measure across the bottom of your bosom line, okay? So I'm really sorry it's going to be uncomfortable for just this moment, but you have to lift this right out of my way so I can get right around where your bra strap sits and right underneath the bosom. And they love that. They think it's bloody hilarious. Um, you know, again, yeah, yeah. relationship bonding. Um, and make sure, again, that one is breathe in, breathe out halfway. Belly is just as they are, calm, cool, calm, collected. Gluteus maximus is the one that I'm just saying, just measuring how much of a J-Lo booty you've got, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> then we come through and we'll go through the arm. So it will go through elbow, making sure you're getting in the two bony landmarks at the, the, at the elbow and going through the crease, making sure the wrist is above the bony landmark on the outside of the wrist in the narrowest part. The hand ensuring that you are trying to find the world. Making sure that you, and I've done this on video with some of my clients. I've got new clients in New Zealand, Yvonne. I might be okay. able to soon. Um, yeah. So you want to make sure that you find the, the most fullest line across the wrist, the full line. The one that is closest to the palm and then you want to find that's the full measurement would we'll go from here to the tip of the finger the next measurement is going to be the palm of the hand and you'll notice they have the next fullest line on their root finger that goes across that is closest to the palm so full line closest to the palm full line closest to the palm and that's your measuring point mm -hmm. okay um mid thigh all we're trying to do is find the middle of the mid thigh so what i usually do is you can ask them if you can palpate here at the hip to find the top of it, if they're a bit of a bigger human being and that's quite soft, what I actually say to them is just lift your knee for me and put it back down. Lift your knee for me, put it back down so I can find the top of your humerus for you. Then you're measuring to the patella, making sure, making sure generally, like I've got a really dominant um, end of my humerus, but most of them is just sort of above the kneecap and that's pretty well where you'd bring it to, find the measuring point, find the halfway, stick it around the circle there. If you're a PT and you've done plenty of body measuring, you're probably really, really quick and awesome at finding that by eyesight. Um, I rarely have to measure the whole way. Um, and the other one that might be tricky is getting the knee is just around the, the middle of the patella, around through the back crease. The calf is actually a cool trick at finding the thickest circumference of the calf. Yeah, yeah, it's like I'm doing a strip show. Um, <laughs> we're so professional here. So if you loop over your tape measure and create a little bit of slack and you get it to the point where you can slide it up and down the car, you'll find the point in which that it catches and lets go, catches and lets go. And you'll find that that's actually where the thickest part is, where it catches is the thickest part of the body, right? Because it will, if it gets loose, then you know you've gone to a, a narrower section. So you want to make sure you get the thickest part of the car, that's your measurement against the skin. 
the ankle is just above the bony landmark on the outside to find the narrowest part and then the, the foot is the complete length of the foot. Oh, that was popping me um, Okay, any questions about that? I always uh, make sure that I clean my tape between clients because when you put the tape on the desk, sweaty bits, it's nice to have a fresh, clean tape. Uh, for the Sharing is caring. No, you're right. Beautiful. I haven't <laughs> thought about that. I really like that. And um, I guess another aspect, just in particular for Saran, um, this can be done over Zoom. And Sharn, yeah. would you suggest that when you do this over Zoom, you're, you've got a tape measure and you're kind of showing it like you yep. just did? And I also make sure that they have a partner in crime for 10 minutes. If they're a couple, it's amazing. Yes. Uh, mm. It's a very good bonding session. Um, <laughs> yes. So we'll go for couples in particular. Yeah. Like the ones that, you know, we might be getting that are coming through the mental health line. Let's get them at home where they feel comfortable with their partner. I really like that. Mm, mm. It's a really cute bonding session. Um, <laughs> It is. I've just had a married couple that I'm working with with another group of mine and, um, yeah, they were both just like next level bonding and it was just amazing. Um, awesome. There's a guy okay. that just came in that's pretty cute, so I'm going to get my tape measure out. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, that so that's going to go through. You're going to go through the measurements. Then after the measurements, you're going to go into the questionnaire and you just sort of go through it with them. In the questionnaire, it's pretty comprehensive. There are multiple questions. To save time, guys, I preempt it and go, I'm going to rattle off each of these. If it is something you definitely know, say yes. If you don't know what it is, you don't have it. Yes, that's what I say I'll be well. like, exactly. uh, I don't know what that is. Can you explain it to me? Well, no, it's not relevant. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. Let's just keep yeah. moving. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. Good tip. So I just sit there and go, right, have you got hypoglycemia? Blah, 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 blah. And they go, yes, yes, no, 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 nothing. Okay, go on to the next one. Every single question needs to be answered with something. So mm -hmm. even if it's a I don't know or all of the above or none of the above, um, make sure each one is answered. It'll be eye colour, skin colour, high hair, texture, tone, all of it. You're going to get through the, all of the end of it and then it's going to... Um, then it's going to... Say it's taking the 30 seconds to calculate. Um, and what I do, if I haven't, if the tablet's been gone by then and you, um, if the tablet that they're doing the waiver on has been with someone else at the beginning and you weren't able to do that, that 30 seconds is when I get them to do the waiver. Okay, so you've got the beginning point of them using the tablet and doing the waiver, but if someone in the room's doing it and you just can't get them on it, don't stress. While the 30 second load up is happening, this is a good time to do it. Now, as soon as so they I'll come just, in, uh, sorry, I'll, thanks, Sharon. I'll just preframe that because they—I don't know if they know what we're talking about. So, uh, you said in the beginning. So, but our personal waiver that we've made. Yeah, yeah. You, I said your personal waiver is on a tablet that they'll have to do in the beginning. As soon as you come mm -hmm. in and do their height, their weight, yes. you'll get them to do the waiver. Yeah. So you're um, gone. That'll be for us, and then. So Ron, we'll have that online waiver for you that you would send to that client before the session. Yeah. Does that make sense? Sweet. Awesome. Um, when they come in, they won't exactly see this. They'll have a few like prompts. And I say to people, the more you interact with Shay, when it jumps up and asks you questions about how you're feeling, the more you interact with Shay, the more Shay learns about you and the more it can help you. So it's super Ooh, important to be that. as involved with it as you can. Um, but you can also ignore the prompts and just go about your day and check on the things that you want to check on. As a coach, because you're going to want to get their health type, you're going to want to come up here to the letter that is their name and it will say just here which health type they are. Then I go over and you'll have these printed out in folders and these will give them their bang for buck and then this is something they're going to take home as greater discussion with their partners, their family and reminders. Just know, 80% of the guys won't read it. Um, so you want to skim over it and just give them some of the bang for buck. Um, Saran, 100%. if it's as you, darling, you'll, you'll be able to read off of this and just sort of give them a bigger understanding. It would probably be a really smart idea prior is to go through each of these and have a read um, and just familiarise yourself. Um, but understanding that this is the biggest bang for buck. So you go, all right, you're a diplomat. Yay, awesome. So as a diplomat, um, you know, it's really, really important you have time and space. You know, if everything comes on you and you can just go through and then read the piece of paper and get mm -hmm. enough of an idea. 
Um, you don't want to overload these people. They've now gone through a million questions. They've got all this stuff. Um, and so you can either ask them, you know, in reference to the goals that you have, is there certain aspects you want to know more about? Um, or you can go, let's set, let's check in on those goals that you created and let's see if they're still relevant, if there's anything you want to add to it. Um, and then in that time, let's just quickly go in and have a look at your app and see some of the parts that are really awesome. And let's figure out a few main key points for you to consider. So as a diplomat, it's time and space, so place. So here in, in the lifestyle tab, we have place. So, and I've said to a lot of them, because they're going to be coming back to you, I go, you know what, over the next couple, couple of weeks or month, take time to read through each of these different sections. If there's a section that you're questioning, that you, you don't agree with the statement, the statement doesn't make sense, you don't resonate with the statement, or we'd love it if you were like, oh my God, how does it know this is me? You just measure my body. How do you know? Um, those are the things screenshot on your phone <laughs> and send it through to us. So we can be like, woohoo, or we can help you to understand. This is where you get into the conversation of natural versus habitual as to like, these are the habitual things that you've been doing. And these statements, as bizarre as they may seem, are your genius, are your power, are the essence of who you are outside of your habitual living, right? Does that kind of make sense? Absolutely. You know about habitual versus natural? Yeah. 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 Saran, does that kind of make you sort of on board with that? Yeah, you lost me a little bit. Just in regards <laughs> to natural and natural. Do you, do you mean like the, the habitual? I, I haven't heard of those two references before, so would you be able to touch base on those? Of course. So natural, uh, sorry, habitual is basically, as humans, most of us are just trying to get through our day. We're doing the best we can with the, the knowledge and the learnings and the, um, the, the impact that we're constantly receiving, the information we're constantly getting. We try to filtrate that in our brain and just get through our day. What we're showing them through this app and what they're capable of understanding within this app is that this is your, your natural state. Despite ego, despite um, society, despite um, expectations and obligations, this is your whole body thriving <coughs> beyond any capacity you've ever been told before. This is away from templates. And I always say to them, I'll say, you know, if, if you've ever thought of keto and, and all these sorts of things, anything that's a template that someone else has done the same thing of, it's not specific to you and it's only ever going to get you a moment of a result if it does get you a result at all. So what we're creating is a knowledge that this is the long game and this long game is going to have you having a longer life. And understanding the small, sometimes um, unexpected things that have been tripping you up, that are stacked on top of each other to get you to a current state where maybe your body is not functioning the best it should be. You can create your own conversation around that, but it's really just about getting them to understand we live our life habitually, just getting through. Trusting in the process and understanding there is so much science and technology in this platform that the slow... Uh, I say slow incremental. So most of these guys will know about Kaizen. Kaizen is, you know, about Kaizen, like the small progress, the 30 second decision followed by another 30 second decision. It's, it's about knowing that no one expects you to jump tomorrow and become a diplomat to the perfect tourist nature. It's about understanding what are the small incremental steps that we can make long term. And today, all we're going to do is set some small goals that are in alignment with the first goals you gave us. Okay, and that might be, gee, um, you know, they're always going to be conscientious of their food, even though um, if you have a look here, uh, actually, it's a good thing to discuss this. In this document, you'll see there's um, six items there. Every single health type will have those six items in a different order. So you would just be able to say to them, this is your truth of priority of what matters most to your DNA. And everyone has these aspects. It's like the wheel of life on steroids, this program. It's like if you have this element working best, so for a diplomat, their environment and their genius, their mindset, their ability to show up and be the greatest human they are and give contribution, you know, the genius of the human is well before exercise and well before food. So what this means is if they can get number one, number two, and number three working fine, number four, number five, number six will sort themselves out. And isn't it interesting how food and fitness are not at the top for this person? 
Whereas contrary to what every other health and fitness program is, they would say, eat right, train every day, blah, 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 which is absolute catastrophic for a lot of them. It's actually backwards to what's actually best for them. So natural, which is what we have here, versus habitual, what society told them is right for them. Awesome. So these, these, these templates here will be awesome for you to really um, simply just go by, just to get a feel for it at first, until you do the course. Then you'll be like, mind blown. Mm. That was perfect. Sharon, just two quick ones. Um, are we able to show uh, how to get the exact number? Because I want to put the, their number now into the chart. Um, yes, you can do, and, and they are this is the actually a good step to do in this component, actually. Okay, so the other tabs you will have open, so we've got, um, you're going to have Google Drive, and from Google Drive, you will get your client resource center. In there, you'll already have uh, printed, these will be printed and on the table for you to collect, so you don't need to worry about that. The other thing you will have open is our resource center. Now, these cute little things that we were looking at here, are in our first tab. So pre-launch day procedures. They're all there, each of the different health types. This will explain to you, like we we're talking about before, how to go about where to go to, for everything um, and what you need to have. The girls have actually written a bit of a procedure here, which is awesome. Um, it has all the links that you need with the tabs as well that Sean was explaining. Yeah, so Megan should be able to give you guys access to this effective immediately so you can familiarise yourself with those first two pages. Will do. This next page has a bit of a recap on the top part there, but it again goes into the procedures and it even says prior to the coaching appointment, prior to the coaching appointment, during the appointment, during the appointment, you know, um, just to assist you guys with, with nutting that out. Um, this is after the first coaching session, so we'll come back to that. Um, but I'll get rid of this one. I'll get rid of this one. They've now been done. What you do want to do is when you're in here and you've put in their data, once you've set up their profile and they're looking at their cool stuff and you'd be like, Hey, have a read through this section um, and get them at the same time on their phone um, and downloading the shade virtual health assistant. So now you've started it up. I get them onto their phone right in front of you because they won't do it. If they go home, get them Correct. on their phone. You have to get yeah, download you need that the free tip. app. Yeah. Download the free leave, app. They don't leave the session until they have the app downloaded. And the app, which is cool, once it's been loaded in the computer, the app will actually open up at the most relevant positions for them. So then while they're doing that, what I would do is go open up on your phone. Great. You're logged in. Great, great, great. Now I want you to go into the top priority, which is place whatever it is for that health type and just have a read through. Tell me anything that really pops out to you while they're doing that quickly jump into the spreadsheet, <laughs> grab their email address, control copy, and come across to the coaching panel, which Megan will have open. You will have access to Megan's coaching panel. This will just be another tab that you have in here. And this and here- And I'll give you access. Yep. yep sir. This here has all of Megan's clients so far, which are all of our clients. What you want to do, there's a little add client button here. So every single one of them, you're going to take the email address and control V, paste it in there, request access. You already have this client. Awesome. So that will drop them in. But what you must do and is an awesome thing to do in this moment is to come back into their profile that you created and come into coaching. My coaches. And it will say here, um, you have a request for a, from a coach, Megan Jarvis, and just hit the green button, accept. Mm. Do it here and now because it will make life easier later on. And then while they're still and there. So, you know, guys, that's really important because that gives us full access to them in the back end so we can see everything. Yeah. And when you're coaching them, you won't ever really coach them from the coaching panel. You'll generally be coaching them from what they see on their app. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you always want to be able to log in to them from the app. And I just tell them, don't change your password because then I can't help you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you'll see here in the coaching panel, there is their name which is their username, their full name, their gender, their bio type, their status, and their token expiry date. What you're going to want to do for the paperwork is grab this 
biotype number. Don't worry about the letter reference after it. It's not really important at the moment. All you're going to want to do is grab that. And that means that they are a 260. So this person, Rachel, is a 260, which for Saran, a 260 would mean this, this woman sits just inside the cusp of a guardian. Oh, sorry, 280. Oh, no, 260. Yeah, so just here in the cusp. So it just means that she's very, very close to being a diplomat. And if she's quite overweight, if she loses weight, she'll come towards the leaner diplomat. So you can just discuss it there and go, you know, and I always have this picture on my computer. I'm like, well, you, you sit here. This is really awesome. You're actually really close to this one. So if we lose a bit of weight, you're going to come over here and have a few more traits. But at the moment, your, your body's really not feeling safe. There's a lot of stress going on potentially. And your body's currently sitting in a, in a state that's over in this section. And my goal is to work with you and really easily get you to come back over here and be living out a happier, healthier, more vibrant, balanced life. And they go, oh, I want to be a diplomat too. <laughs> Sean, can you go back to that for one quick sec? So Yvonne, <coughs> that's the diagram that I was going to be using. If you've made a diagram like this that has a bit more detail, please do bring it in next week. Um, and we've shared this with Kate, right? Like we all, like everyone this. has. Nice. Awesome. Yes. So yeah, yeah, that'd be great to bring in. Um, but what number are you, Yvonne? Hi. What number are you? I'm a uh, 320 at the uh, 340. Sorry, sensor. I started mm -hmm. as a diplomat, mm -hmm. but I got I dropped down into a sensor, and I'm I'm a chameleon sometimes. That's what mm. I said to Megan. Hence why she has such a pretty diagram with everything laid out so perfectly. Right, but that's like her crusader qualities as well. And then she said that she's an activator at times. Like it's, mm. it's all the diplomats yes. in the diplomat colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. very organized. <laughs> bring all of those and then this for any of our coaches that are online um I, does kate have that copy now i believe so okay cool we'll have that ready for you saran so that you can see that wheel and it's so important to bring that wheel up and talk to them about that wheel because that wheel is what's going to be in every gym it's going to be what we keep directing them back to and it's almost like subconsciously we want them thinking about where they are on that wheel and how they communicate with people and why they communicate the, the way they do Mm. perfect okay so. um okay so can i just touch on this quickly where it says waiting waiting for approval so yep. rachel stockdale she's one of our girls in invercargill so does that mean that she hasn't approved uh us as, as a, a coach. coach on her yeah so okay we cool. can go in and just um gain access and do that ourselves but it's just us having made the time to do that oh we can do that for sure now we don't well, yeah if you've got a login details I don't know. We don't have the login details of our first tribes. Oh. That was when Sage and I let them do their login details before you. I'm pulling up my water. Um, Actually, okay. got to see. Yeah, sorry if you're busting. But this is an example why you guys why we need their login details. Yeah. This is a great example because uh, Rachel's been great. She's been training at the gym out in Invercargill. That's South Island in New Zealand. Um, but and i've even had a chat with her on the phone the other day but i didn't realize that we were waiting for her approval well so i don't know I think if you are because you've got two accounts here for rachel so i don't know what you've done oh there. okay yeah great no that was one that we had troubles with so that looks good sales awesome soul, okay, what's so. it? oh soul client does it matter sharon if it says soul client or shared client um, so client just means that they're just yours. Uh, shared client means that there's other coaches. Hey, beauty. Um, so, yes. Okay, so moving on because I've got kids coming okay. back. Yep, no worries. Um, so, where are we up to? Okay, so we are up to so that's session one. You want to then sit there inside of their profile and go, right, so what's some things you want to focus on? And they always go, what do I need to eat? Always. <laughs> Always, always, always. So the first thing I say, you're going to notice there's these really cool colourful wheels. And these colourful wheels are your clocks in your life and how your body functions best. If there's a clock outside, the sun goes up, the sun goes down, your body knows about that. But what you may not be in tune with is the fact that your body has a specific clock for specific organs and functions that are specific to you. So this pretty picture is actually like your body's Bible. And there Boom. is... Yeah, so there's several of them. So... so good. Immediately, one thing you've got to make clear to them is just because it says drink 
doesn't mean that's the only time you say drink you drink it's just saying <laughs> that if you're hungry at that time potentially you're actually just dehydrated and, and thirsty so try not to eat have a cup of tea have a glass of water you know whatever it is um and just say okay, so that that drinking doesn't mean the best time for them to be hydrating it does. It means their body's going through a hormone function at that time that requires a lot more okay. hydration, but it also just means you're not hungry. You're probably just not drinking enough water, which 98% Love of them that. don't. Okay. Um, so it's a good, good point to be like, have more water. Yes. And all these guys need more water, by the way. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. Um, then you can go and then, you know, I say to my guys, you can screen grab these and just put them up on your fridge. So you're understanding it better. Good ladies. Um, <laughs> In here, you can click this view detailed schedule and it will actually go through and help them understand what and why these things are re recommended for them. And you also want to ask them in here is, does this line up with your life currently? Because if they're a diplomat, specifically, these clocks are paramount. There's, this is like, if there's the one thing they're going to fix out of everything, get the clocks right. Do the things at the right time and your body will function best. Don't eat an apple and think it's going to make you healthy. Do this the right way at the right time. Mm. So remember before that piece of paper said time and space because time and space is so super crucial for a diplomat. Just um, to touch on that because what they'll get back is I'm a driver. I can't eat and drink at this time. How, what can I do, Sharon? Uh, okay. So then I would say, okay, so what would you normally eat? And they'll go, ah, uh, just stop at the road and I'll grab a pizza. <laughs> And you go, great, do you think that actually makes you feel better? And they go, no, not really. This is what I can do. And so I say, you know what? Do you wake up in the morning and brush your teeth? Do you put your clothes on? You do. Because you know it's important. Because you know it's a requirement. Your health, your lifestyle is your requirement. It's your choice to actually make it a priority. I call them. They're all men. They can all deal with it. Nice. No, I, I'm, I'm, I know you do. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you guys and are going to be hit with that time and time again not just the drivers everyone that you meet is going to say i don't i can't follow your time schedule like basically you know what i mean mm -hmm. and it's and like you might need to offer them, give them that tough love yeah and give them some options yeah yeah and those options might be okay so breakfast is a bit later so you're going to get up you're going to be on the road for a couple of hours you're going to be having some fluids and whatnot okay so the first time you might pull over is to well could you make a smoothie before you leave the house at stupid o'clock um a lot of the drivers are up stupidly early and if they're a diplomat mm. it's really bad and we don't want them eating till later so you know, could we make you a smoothie? Yeah, but how do I keep it cold? Well, actually, it's not good to have cold things, <laughs> right? So you can make a smoothie with all your frozen fruits and veggies and have it sitting there beside you and drink it at 8 or 9 or 10 o'clock and it'd actually be perfectly safe and perfectly fine. Um, things like that. Or, you know, this is a good time for diplomats to have a bit of protein if you are hungry or some diplomats may not be hungry. And that'll be a question of going, do you even eat brekkie? Like, does it really matter to you? No. Okay. Well, then you'll be breaking the fast at 12 or going straight into lunch at two. So use these time frames as a Bible to help them align with their life and go, how can we get you eating these things at these times? Can we move things back or forward by half an hour or an hour so that you're honoring this? Breakfast is not important for a diplomat. So, um, yeah. Um, so... You say hello. This is my. This is, should have been my daughter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need to have kids too. Let's. Talk about She's so cute. I'm coming she out there. Just like me. And, I'm, um, oh, I didn't and see so. Her, but she's so cute. She's gone. Um, don't tell her that. Okay. You go for it. Um, and so, yeah, so just getting in there and helping them to understand that these time frames are paramount and, and what's the small things we can do. So maybe their goal might be, oh, this week, this month, I'm going to try and find ways of getting to these time frames. And you go, cool, what's going to get in the way of you doing that? Oh, well, this and that and this and that. Okay, so what are some strategies we can put in around that to counteract the fact that these things are going to come up? Like help them to set the time. What do I need to do to honor this? Oh, I suppose I better go shopping. Okay, when are you going shopping? Oh, mm, uh, and a diplomat and a guardian are going to need time to figure that out. You've got to give them, you've got to show them how it comes together. Because if you just say to them, yeah, go, go, go implement this food plan, they're going to go, nah, I don't know how to break that down and change it. I don't know how to do that. 
So you're then going to give them time to go, okay, where in your week can you go shopping? Oh, well, Fridays would be my time. Great. What time would you go shopping? Oh, about 11. Great. And when you come home, what are you going to be doing? Oh, well, I'll just put it all away. Okay, so when are you going to do the cooking? Oh, maybe on Saturday. Yeah, okay, great. Saturday, you're going to do it. And what, what meals are you going to do? I don't know. Cool. Well, let's go have a look at recipes. And these recipes are really tailored to you or close to what your body needs. Cool thing about the recipes is, let's bring one of these up, <clears throat> you'll notice that some of them are coloured. So it's saying the things that are green are like amazing. The things that are in yellow are like not so much. So one thing I point out to them, you're pretty, you're probably pretty smart at figuring out how to swap things out or maybe you're not. So this one here says extra virgin olive oil is yellow, not really so good. So maybe there's something better that would be good for you. So maybe we can change the oil that you use at home. So then I come back and go, right, let's have a look at the food list. Let's have a look at oil. Uh, where are we there? Apply filters. Oh, here we go. Have you ever heard of avocado oil? No. Oh, cool. Well, let's play with that. You know, um, flaxseed oil is, is now a cooking oil. So maybe we can have a play with that. Let's get that. Let's take away that canola oil and sunflower oil and let's start cooking with something that your body actually recognises. The biggest thing with this, I say to people, is cool. This might look like a scary, boring food list that isn't McDonald's or a burger or something that's quickly made for you. But this list here says that every ingredient in the world, out of every ingredient there is, these are the top ones that are specific to you and no one human has the same list at the same time for, or for the same amount of time because you are very unique. So please understand that Asahi berries and goji berries, as much as they're a superfood, may not be a superfood for you. These are your superfoods and for your body right now, the, the order in which they're placed says that if I was to eat time every day, my body would be absolutely amazing. And it's the, the most important thing for me to eat. So looking at this food list, how is there some things on there that you do eat? And they'll go, oh, nah, it's all green. Or, <laughs> or they'll go, you know, oh, I eat a bit of this or I eat a bit of that. So it's going, okay, so what are some of these things that you're willing to try this month and incorporate? Or, you know, this month, maybe the goal is for you to get back into this app and start incorporating some more green things. Each week, buy another green thing on the list. And by green thing, I mean excellent or good, you know? So where are some of these things? And let's have a look at the things that are not so good. So maybe our other goal for this week might be, or this month might be, what are some things that are in this red list that I'm eating every day that I can not eat? <clears throat> now, if you've got a guardian or a diplomat, they're gonna be bucking up against this. I can't do it too much. I don't want to do it. You know, it's taking away my life. My wife won't do it. My kids won't do it. Um, or I don't like any of that food. And you go, you know what? Are you happy with the current state? And I'll go, not really. Very diabetic. Um, and you'll go, right. So maybe these foods have contributed to the current situation that's probably not serving you anymore. Right? So these things are some things we need to cut down. And it's not saying we're going to cut anything down forever. The cool thing about PH360 is the more you honor the green list, the quicker your body gets better. And the sooner we can start to come back in and have more treat days. Because clearly these things are red, saying to me that it's really, really bad for your health. Right? So maybe they become a treat, something that you have on a special occasion or on a birthday. No one's saying you can never have anything. We're just saying let's pull them back away from the main staple diet and start incorporating more of the green things. Does that work for you with everything you've done with nutrition, um, Saran? Yeah. This is going to make your life so much easier and so much more thorough. You don't need to guess. You're not going against, And the good thing is you're not going against. You don't need to have any legalities or anything like that. All you're doing is just helping them to understand that these things are better choices. Beatrice does all the work for you. Yeah, it seems so simple. <laughs> yeah. And so you can go through and, and assist them with some food, go some goals like that. You really just want to create some goals to get them to do over the next month. And whether it is eliminating some foods, whether it is working on their sleeping times, whether it is a good example, there's a boss here at Yatla who, um, the boss, one of the guys, one of the higher up ones, and he was saying, oh, I get up, at, I've been up at 4 a.m. my whole life. I said, oh, how's that work for you? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm pretty tired, pretty stressed. Wait, I can't shift my weight. Awesome. I said, you, you're, you're currently single because I was talking to him. And he goes, yeah. I said, great, great. So what do you do on the weekends? Oh, I'll go play golf. <laughs> well, I don't know. Great, great. Glad yeah. you're single. <laughs> great. 
No, because it, it is. It is because you say, "Well, this is your responsibility." Then, isn't it? There's no one else. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. This is say. your responsibility. So I go, "Great." Do you realize that you sleeping in can save your life? And he went, "Yeah." I went, "Great." So when are you going to go out dating again and start finding someone that will coax you to stay in bed longer in the morning? And he was like, "What?" Thought it was so the best good. thing. The best thing because I said to him, I said, you need to sleep in or be calm in the morning or be still in the morning or just be in bed. I said, so do whatever you have to do to make sure there's at least one day of the week that you're recuperating without alcohol. That is gold. And to give the background, this guy's like been a farmer his whole life. He like totally needs, and he's like the toughest guy on the site, you know, like typical me. his masculine. <laughs> Until I had and that no conversation with him and I just said, you know what, your your life depends on the fact of you being happy. And I said, right now, when I yeah. first met you, you didn't seem very happy. I said, so my goal is to help you find that again. This is true. And, you know, yeah. so this, the, you, you will quickly build these relationships with these people and this will allow you to have uh, better conversations with them and get them to understand. So just be, be creative with it. Um, and they will become your, oh, well, your greatest well. allies, right? Because they'll be like, oh my God. So, you just that. Set so a in that goals. initial session, this is enough though. Okay. You don't want to and do much more than this. If they want to know, to say, and they're so, going to say fitness, they're going to say, I want to know about food. So it's always those two. Say, do, do you bring up fitness in that initial session? If it's a goal, it's a goal. They will generally right. ask, what should I do right. for so, fitness? Then I go, okay, your fitness is, let's work out, are you training in the morning or in the afternoon? What's best for you? And I go, oh, I train at 5 a.m. So... Then we figure out which body type they are. And this clock here will tell us what their day needs to look like. This here will show us, okay, so in the morning, you've got to keep it calm and cool. But your best time to start doing it is to pump it out between three and six. How do you think you can do that? Could you do that? Is there a way we could do this? Or if during the week is so manic, can we start implementing it on the weekend and just become aware, how does it feel when you train that way? How does it feel when you live out a couple of days on the weekend like this? And if that's all you can start out with these people, it's good enough. You just want them to become aware and monitor themselves so that they okay. don't feel like you're constantly pushing them because they will buck against it. You want them to own this program. You want them to feel it. You want them to experience it. Um, so with a lot of them, love I say, that. great. Love all of that. Yeah. So a lot of them, it's like, okay, so can we align with this? Work doesn't allow it. Okay. So you can only train in the mornings. That's the only time. Can we just do walking in the mornings? Is that possible? Oh, you know, yeah. cause for an endomorph walking opens your lungs, helps blood circulation. If that's the best we can do, do that. But it'd be really great. You'd be so powerful after eating all that food all day to train in the afternoon. Your body's better for it. And I say to them, you know, the, the, the diplomats, and I bring them back to this cool piece of paper that we have for them, which I totally shut down. Yes. I bring them back to these cool little pictures that we have as a reference. Okay, so you have this in there, their piece that they take home, right? So we say, look at this, like your food timings is like a later breakfast or later food if you want to, and then a big lunch and then a little dinner. Um, for some of them, if you look at this, you can actually see the words here. It says easily digested smoothies and slow cooked meals for breakfast. Lunch is the biggest meal of veg, carbs, proteins, and fats. Dinner is vegetarian three to four days a week. Next to no carbohydrates, depending on your fitness activities and levels. So if you're someone that's training flat out and you want some fish and some carbs at dinner time, go for it. Are you a marathon runner? No. Okay, maybe we should look at doing some, some vegetarian meals at night time and see how that feels. This, this, this profile gives you an ability to really help coach them and, and give them the, the picture of it. And if they say... The visual, it's so good. Yeah. So then if they say, oh, but I'm busy in the morning and then I have my coffee as soon as I wake up, you go, mm, what does coffee do? Oh, it wakes me up. Mm. Right. Okay. So for a big body, as you can see, you guys are like, you guys are like a boulder rolling down the hill. The boulder doesn't start at full speed. It starts, it starts rolling and gaining momentum and gaining momentum and gaining momentum and then it's unstoppable. And this is the diplomat way. This is the guardian way. And you can show them from these diagrams. You'll be able to prompt yourself by seeing the diagram and checking in with it and going, so maybe caffeine and exercise first thing in the morning are counterintuitive for what's good for you. Right? 
So maybe that's we a big one. Coffee back later. Maybe a food yeah, and bringing a coffee back later, later is a big one. And yes. that's a good goal to have with a lot of them if they're caffeine addicts. Yeah. So let's not take it away. But let's bring it to that midday time where your body's actually got a bit more yeah. about it. And let's like not, 10 a.m. or something. Yeah. yeah. Or onwards. Yeah. yeah. 10 onwards. Um, and a good explanation is go, what does coffee do? Oh, it makes me up. Okay. What happens when something goes up or comes back down? Okay. Then what happens? We've got to try and get back up again. Oh, okay. And then we do this. Does your day feel like maybe you're doing that? You know, <laughs> do you feel like constantly you're catching yourself? Well, it'll be my goal is for you to get this and actually start just trucking on, achieving every day. This is this is health. This is balance. The rest of it's erratic, and for a diplomat or a guardian, it's kind of like death eventually. So let's find you a really stable energy balance, and let's get you just trucking on. And and so these these pictures are really really great in this diagram to bring that back. Again, we're trying to find a couple goals through all of this. A couple goals, whether it's more water, less coffee, later coffee, um, better meal times. These are the cool things that you want to have as their goals to start them off. And remind them it's simple, right? Maybe not easy, but it's a simple goal. And all we want to do is create simple, smart goals to start you off. Yep, love it. Okay. That's pretty much enough. Saran, your mind exploded? <laughs> yeah. So first yeah, session. I'm following along because obviously like being in the health and fitness industry and doing this, like doing this process with my PT clients, but I'm really excited to learn like the PH360 mm. and actually take them through this. So mind exploding, but in a really good way. I'm good. So as you can see, this would be enough for anyone. Mm. This is enough for us to be like, awesome. Now we've got you booked in for your follow-up. So all I want you to do is just have a look through or don't just start looking at what's going on in there. Start implementing some things. We've got your goals set. I'm going to check back in with you and we want to get you into the gym for your inductions, or we want to make sure that you're, you're set up for this and that. Megan will normally let you know anything that you need to let them know in the sessions at the beginning of the day and be like, oh, remember to get this, remember to get that. Um, so there may be some things like gym inductions or whatever it is that has yeah, to happen as well. Yeah, definitely. No, well, that's perfect. I think as a generic, just for anybody who's watching this on the replay, we always want to try to get them in for a gym session. So Yvonne, your goal will be that you take them downstairs, you give them a gym induction on the day, because Sharm, we're doing it a bit different because the gym's open in, awesome. in Auckland already. Um, so you'll give them the gym induction. And then the other commitment that we really want to make is, right, when are you committing to come in? Mm. When can I see you in this gym? Or when can uh, Ike see you in this gym? And can you commit to me to coming in? And then, Saran, for any of your clients, we allow them to train at partner gyms in studios nearby. So, uh, when can I, when can I get you in the gym? You know, I'm not sure what, you know, even if you're like, I don't know which partner is out there, but I know that we, we allow everyone in Vulcan to have full access to fitness. And I think really instilling that fitness component is something that we weren't able to do necessarily at Yatla right away because we took a month before we were able to open it. But now that Auckland's open and the other satellite sites, we're getting the gyms on right away. Um, I think it's an important component. If they say, yes, okay, I'll commit to the gym. Awesome. We'll write you a personalized program based on you. There's one in your Shea app. But also, if you want me to write a program based on your goals and personalize it for you, that is something that we do. So you're just taking away every single barrier. Does that make sense? Like every barrier that they have. Oh, I'm intimidated by the gym. Sorry, go ahead. If some of them do get to that point where you can see that they're physically intimidated or they're like, I'm not a gym person, remind them that we can just do the basics. We want to set the foundation first. Yes. We're not going to get them in there doing a, a workout of the day and smashing a class. It might actually just be functional training of sit to stand, proper push up, proper pull up um, using the TRX machines and some kind of an ab balance workout training. So we're just hitting the basic stuff. You're not going to be smashed. Um, our intention is for this to be for the long game. So I don't want you coming thinking that we're going to get you in the gym, smash you and you'll be pain, in pain for the rest of the week. We're just going to give you an integrative program that's personalized to you and your goals. Like just because a lot of them, if you're like, when are we going to get you in the gym? They're like, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to be pushed. I don't want to do it. You can just all bugger off. So knowing that some of them are going to need that softer point and where others, if they're an activator and a connector, you're like, yay, when are we getting into the gym? When are we going to have fun? When are we going to, like, when am I going to see you dancing in the gym with me? And they're like, yeah. But if you did that to a guardian or a diplomat, they'd be like, you're an annoying human and I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to come in. I'm yeah. done. 
Yeah. Um, right. Just monitoring yourself. And with yourself. that said too, yeah, that was perfect. And with that said too, uh, it's good for them to know that we've got a team of exercise sports scientists. We can develop programs based on uh, postural problems or injuries or previous problems that they've been having that is very personalized to them. If they're seeing a physio, please bring us the physio notes. We are bridging the gap between any medical assistance that they have had and then going and actually assisting them just on the basics of, like Sharon said, like how to squat properly, the biomechanics of the simplized things and just making it a lot easier for them. They don't have to go into a workout a day at all, but also on the other end, we have the ability to write programs and and assist what their physio has given given them on a deeper level so we're doing things that no one else is doing in the wellness industry right now and say it like that so that they know it's different they're getting specialized help for them sorry sean all good so that would be the first session um, do you want me to go into the okay. follow-up session yet or shall we do that as a because I, these guys are going to have time. Call? Yeah, that's probably call. good. <laughs> yeah. I think that's enough. Um, yeah, exactly. No. We'll and then after each that. client, you just want to log out. Um, but you can just go through as much of this as they want to. They will prompt you as to what they want to go into. If they don't, utilize that first document that has the six different priorities and go, all right, well, your first priority is this and this. You know, so let's have a look at that. How do you resonate with those statements? And then talk about how it might actually be more in alignment. Um, Yvonne, you'd be, you're all across that style of things. Um, and in, oh, yeah. just before I do, in the fitness, because you are a PT as well, in the fitness, you have got understanding they can create their own programs here. So if they want to do something at home, they can do something at home. Um, go, all right, I want to go low intensity. I want to go beginner level. I want to go mm, portable equipment only, so bands and, and whatnot. And what I want to do full body. And some of these people, you're going to want to just have them doing two days full body basic. Um, mm -hmm. Apply the filters. And it's created a workout for you, right? Or maybe they just want strength. Maybe they just want cardio. Maybe they want flexibility. Oh, okay. Let's work on some flexibility. Here we've got 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute programs that they can go through and, and do that for themselves. How great is that? You've now got all of this on top of the fact you've got us as coaches, you know, talk it up really, really well. Um, what else? Just um, after the first session, just going back to the client notes. Yes. Oh yeah. So they've um, done their session. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you've done your session and generally I always have a notepad so I can jot things down for each person. But what you want to do, let's go Sam Wells. I actually know. Let's go. Oh, yeah, here you go, Sammy. So then each time you go and see a customer, what we started doing is it's really great to keep everything in the one place. And as much as we are doing a lot of other stuff, this is really cool because it just means everyone has access to it. Everyone can see what's been done prior. Um, come in there, write down their notes. What were their goals? What, was, what came up? What are the main issues that might be sitting there? Anything you think is relevant to another coach coming on board, utilize this aspect here. Mm -hmm. Pop all your notes in. And you're done. Yep. So awesome. that's, again, just at the Coach PH360 client files. That's where we're putting all of our notes in. And then we're actually emailing them uh, their goals after that first session. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So then the emailing them is... Uh, And this is more for you, Saran, because you would be doing more of the online initially. And then, Yvonne, you'll be across this uh, after next week anyways, because we'll be together. Mm -hmm. Any minute. Okay. Um, oh, Terry. Okay. Um, in here. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Is this the one? Okay, here we go. So here we have a template and I've gone into my own Zoho and created a template email just to make my life easier. This is the original one. It's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. All of this, we write in here their health type that they are. We write down their goals that they gave us into this section here. And then um, that's a standardized bit. Write down their follow-up time and attach their document that you did the first session with them on, which was this one. To do attaching this, 
you actually can just go file, download, PDF, and then you can attach it to the email. Send that across to them as awesome. a document. Um, and, and we have all of those templates saved for you guys, so you won't have to think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and also CC Kate and Megs into every email. Uh, that I think that's all for today. Anything that more you're going to cry. Can I just say, it was such a pleasure to see you in your zone of genius today, Shark. Like, did <laughs> you not kill it, you guys? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm at in the dinner room and it's fancy oh, and I'm clapping. It's great. I was going to say, you're amazing. Um, <gasps> thank you so much, Sharn. It was so good to see you doing this. And it's like total your flow. This is like what you were made to do. Like, seriously. So, so good. Um, I learned so much and I've gone through everything with you a million times. So thank you. Everyone watching the replay, make sure that you utilize this. Go back to it. This is your bread and butter on that first session and we'll take you through the second session next week yeah. so yeah. thank you guys Perfect. thank you um yvonne looking forward to working with you and saran i will give you a call on friday because it's a public holiday here tomorrow and i'm working in the yeah. office but i'll call you on friday and update you on everything is that cool saran got you yeah Okay, Sounds cool. amazing. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Enjoy home. Bye. 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 Oh, can you save this? That's okay. Just a reminder. Awesome. <laughs> for sure. Thanks,